राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्त वृंदा जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्त वृंदा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदानेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय तो श्री राधे गुरुकानंद भगवान की हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा शिवम जय श्री कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्णा समेत हरे कृष्णा चीनो हरे कृष्ण प्रभु हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा राइट सो गेटिंग बैक टू श्रीमद भागवतम we are on shlok 9 of adhyay 4 uh, so what is going on right now is <clears throat> uh, parikshit maharaj as we saw is asking sukhdev goswami ji that please tell me about you know how supreme lord shri krishna uses his energies and how this world is created right how the universe is created and then you know how it also also gets annihilated <clears throat> right so he is asking uh, all that to sukhdev goswami ji so that's uh, shlok 9 yatha gunastu prakrte yug yugpat kramasho api va vibharti bhuri shastve kah purvan karmani janbi ah uh, shiva The supreme personality of Godhead is one, whether he alone acts with the modes of material nature, or simultaneously expands in many forms, <clears throat> or expands consecutively to direct the modes of nature. Hare Krishna. Hare okay. Krishna. Right. So Parikshit Maharaj is continuously asking, right, about who, who, who is acting as a, you know, simultaneously in many forms or expands consecutively. Please tell us about Lord Shri. भगवान यथा शाब्दे खलु काइंडली क्लियर अप ऑल दिस डाउटफुल इंक्वायरीज बिकॉज यू आर नॉट ओनली वास्टली लर्नड इन द वैदिक लिटरेचर्स एंड सेल्फ रियलाइज्ड इन ट्रांसेंडेंस बट आर आल्सो अ ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड आर देयर फॉर as good as the personality of godhead hari krishna hari krishna <clears throat> excuse me so who is saying this who is speaking right now parikshit ji speaking parikshit ji maharaj is speaking to whom sut goswami sut 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 goswami ya sukhdev goswami ji sukhdev goswami right Parikshit Ji Maharaj is talking to Sukhdev Goswami Ji because Parikshit Maharaj is the one who is listening, right? To he is the one he has seven days, yeah. and he is asking all these questions, and now he is asking again, right? Uh, he is asking to clear all these inquiries, and why he is saying that is because he is saying that Sukhdev Goswami Ji is not only vastly learned in Vedic literatures, he is. not only just self realized in transcendence so he's perfectly self realized <clears throat> but more important is that he is also a great devotee of the lord right so he has full gyan yog then he is fully self realized but then he is also a great devotee of the lord that's a full bhakti yog and that is why he can clear all these doubts 
yeah <clears throat> so and actually this is pretty good uh, work part actually let's read, read some of it uh, so shivam if you can read this in the brahma samhita it is said that the supreme absolute truth govinda the personality of godhead although one without a second is infallibly expanded by innumerable, innumerable forms of non different from one another and although he is the original person he is still ever young with permanent youthful energy he is very difficult to know simply by learning the transcendental science of the vedas but he is very easily realized by his pure devotees hari krishna hari krishna it is a two important things mentioned in this one is one is he expanded by innumerable forms right and the second thing in spite of all that he is very easily realized by whom by his pure devotees and again i mean we'll read this one more paragraph it has lot of information uh, as well uh, sachin would you read this the expansions of different forms of the lord as from krishna to baladeva to sankarashana from sankarashana to vasudeva from vasudeva to anirudh from anirudh to pradyumna and then again to the second Sank- sankarashana uh, are from him to the and from him to the narayana purusha was vataras and in innumerable other forms which are compared to the constant flow of the uncountable waves of a river are all one and the same they are like lamps of equal power which kindle from one lamp to another that is the transcendental potency of the lord the vedas say that he is so complete that even though the whole complete identity emanates from him he still rem- still remains the same complete whole पूर्णश्च पूर्ण अदय पूर्ण वसीयते हरे कृष्ण राइट सो आई थिंक एवरीवन हैज हर्ड दिस राइट पूर्णश्च पूर्णमिद पूर्णयाम वशिष्यते राइट व्हाट डज दैट मीन व्हाट व्हाट डज दिस मीन कैन यू वन से पूर्णश्च पूर्णमिद पूर्णं पूर्णाम वशिष्यते So what that means is, so Lord Sri Krishna is complete Purna, right? Purna Shya, and then from Purna Shya, Purna Madaya, right? So when you subtract Purna from Purna, what is remaining is also Purna, right? So that's what Lord Sri Krishna is. So Purna Shya, Purna Midam, Purna Madaya, Vasishate, right? So what is remaining is also Purna. So that is Lord Sri Krishna, and. Uh, <clears throat> actually also here you know it says different expansions and at some point probably we'll probably get into more detail is what it says from the lord sri krishna and then how the manifestation happens right to baldev to sankarsham to vasudev aniruddh pradyuman and then to of sankarsham again and then you get all the narayan purusha avatars yeah that all 24 avatars which we so and then innumerable other forms <clears throat> right so he still remains the same complete one right so let's <clears throat> ajay sut uvach ityu pam mantrato ragya gulan gulanu kathne hare hrishikesh manasya nimitt प्रतिवक्त प्रच क्रमे सुद गोस्वामी सेड व्हेन सुखदेव गोस्वामी वाज दस रिक्वेस्टेड बाय द किंग टू डिस्क्राइब द क्रिएटिव एनर्जी ऑफ द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड ही देन सिस्टमैटिक सिस्टमैटिकली इज रिमेंबर्ड द मास्टर ऑफ द सेंसेस श्री कृष्ण एंड टू रिप्लाई प्रॉपर्ली ही स्पोक दस हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण राइट सो so far what we saw was parikshit maharaj has been asking sukhdev goswami ji tell us about all this creative uh, creativity and lord sri pushadam and so now sud goswami ji so here sukhdev goswami ji and this is sud goswami ji who is reciting that what he heard from sukhdev goswami ji to all the rishi muni right headed by sonak muni so he is now telling all the muni that after hearing all these inquiries to describe the describe the creative energy of the personality of godhead 
he then he is the sukhdev goswami ji remember the master of the senses shri krishna yeah rishikesh rishikesh means he is the master of the senses indriyon ka uh, <clears throat> indriyon ke controller is rishikesh yeah that is lord shri krishna and then he started to reply yeah so then the sukhdev goswami ji i uh, starting to reply हरे कृष्णा शिक्षा प्रभु हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा पढ़ेंगे आप हाँ बोलिए श्री सुख उच नम परस्म पुरुषाय भूयसे सद उद्भव स्थान निरोध लीलया गृह गृह शक्ति देहिना अंतर्भवाय अनुप लक्ष्य वर्तमने ट्रांसलेशन सुखदेव गोस्वामी सेड लेट मी ऑफर माय रिस्पेक्टफुल ऑन टू द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हु फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एक्सेप्ट द थ्री मोड्स ऑफ नेचर ही इज द कंप्लीट होल रिजाइडिंग विद इन द बॉडी ऑफ एवरी वन एंड हिज वेज आर inconceivable hey krishna right so before sukhdev goswami ji wants to reply to parikshit maharaj he saying what do i want to do i want to first do all my respectful obeisances full pranam to supreme personality of godhead and then he goes on to describe the supreme personality of godhead who is he who is the one just because he wants to create this material world he accepts the three modes of nature what are the three modes of nature goodness passion and ignorance goodness passion and ignorance right and actually let's just read this purport quickly um shivam read this this material world is a manifestation of the three modes of goodness passion and ignorance and the supreme lord for the creation maintenance and destruction of the material world accepts three predominant pre- predominating forms as brahma vishnu and shankar which is shiva as vishnu he enters into every body materially created as garbha daksha vishnu he enters into every universe and as shiva daksha vishnu he enters he enters the body of every living thing hari krishna hari krishna right so this i may if you remember we have read about this before in sri brahma samhita and then again again and again we have seen this right and we all obviously know right the creation maintenance and destruction of the material world we all know right the creation is lord brahma right maintaining by lord vishnu and destruction by lord shiva right and those three modes are also related to goodness passion and ignorance <clears throat> yeah and how does that happen <coughs> that comes from garbhodaksha vishnu he enters into every universe and from garbhodaksha vishnu you have kshirodaksha vishnu who enters into the body of every living being and how does he enter into the body of every living being how is that hi kshirodaksha vishnu enters into the body of every living being like in all of us how is that in soul soul right our soul is related to the super soul that's why every eternal living being we have a soul which is related to super the soul. supreme soul yeah and let's read the remaining one uh, chino lord shri krishna being the origin of all vishnu tatvas is addressed here as parapam puman or purushottam as described in the bhagavad gita He is the complete whole. The Purushavataras, Purushavataras are therefore his plenary expansions. Bhakti Yoga is the only process by which one can become competent to know him, because the empiric philosophers and mystic yogis cannot conceive of the personality of Godhead. He is called Anupalaksha Vartmane, Vartmane, the Lord of the inconceivable way or Bhakti Yoga. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. Then the reason we are reading this purport is again and again. Right. All these. this point is being emphasized again and again that how can you know lord shri krishna right supreme lord is only there is bhakti yog is the only process yeah 
सचिन भूयो नमः सदृजिन छिंदे सता बसंभवाय खिलस तत्व मूर्त ऊसा पुनः पारम हंस्य आश्रमे व्यवस्थिता मनु मृगय दाशुषे I again offer my respectful obeisances unto the form of complete existence and transcendence, who is the liberator of the pious devotees from all distress and the destroyer of the further advances in his atheistic temperament of the non-devotee devotee demons. For the transcendentalists who are situated in the topmost spiritual perfection, he grants their specific destinations. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All right. So Subhadra Goswami ji continue to describe Lord Sri Krishna. Right, and he's saying Lord Sri Krishna is the complete form of all existence, whether it's material or spiritual. Right, Akhil means complete. Right, so and you know we know it's a material nature and the spiritual nature, but external and they are external and internal potencies of the Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, there's a lot of knowledge in all this purport, right? And and I keep saying again and again, like whenever there is a chance. <laughs> Go through those, right, uh, Nisha? Namo Namaste, Astrut Basha Baba. Namo Namaste, Ravusha Bhayas Statvanta, Vidura Kashtaya Muhu Puyogi Nam, Nirast Samya Tishayena Radhasa, Swadhamani Brahmani Rasyate Namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto him who is associate of the members of the Yadu dynasty and who is always a problem for the non-devotees. He is the supreme enjoyer of both the material and spiritual worlds, yet he enjoys his own boat in the spiritual sky. There is no one equal to him because his transcendental appellance is Measurable. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So Subhadra Goswami continues to describe whom he is talking about. Subhadra Goswami Krishna. is talking about whom? Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna. Lord Sri Krishna, right? You know, also like in this purport, they describe like the Vaikuntha planets and the Golo Prindavan. They are self-illuminating. Like they don't need the sun rays uh, or anything else, right? And how are they self-illuminating? Is through the existence of Brahma Jyoti. Yeah. And uh, Shivam, just read the last paragraph, please. Oh Lord, you are the maintainer of everything, both material and spiritual, and everything flourishes by your mercy. Your devotional service or bhakti yoga is the actual principle of religion, satya dharma, and I am engaged in that service. So kindly protect me by showering your real face. Please, therefore, remove the veil of your Brahma Jyoti rays so that I can see your form of eternal bliss and knowledge. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You know this prayer is here, and what does it say? Even the self-realized soul, right? When they see the Brahma Jyoti. Then they are requesting, they are praying to the Lord that please remove this veil of your Brahma Jyoti rays. Why? So that he can see the eternal bliss and knowledge, full form of Lord Sri Krishna. Yeah. Dinaji. Yad kirtanam, yad smaranam, yadikshanam, yadundanam. Yakshravadam Yadharnam Lokasya Satyo Vidhu Noti Kalmasham Tasmai Subhadra Shravase Namo Namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the all auspicious Lord Sri Krishna, about whom glorification, remembrances, audience, prayers, hearing, and worship can at once clean the effects of all sins of the performer. 
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So Lord Sri Krishna who can cleanse the effect of all sins. And how is that done? By Bye. Kirtanam, Shmaranam, Yadikshanam, right? And so many ways, right? Remembrance, audience, prayers, hearing, worship, get at one, cleans the effects of all sins. Yeah? And uh, Tarun, can you read this? Yes. The devotees need not be disappointed in the physical absence of the Lord, though they may think of not being associated with Him. The devotional process of chanting, hearing, remembering, etc., either all or some of them or even none of them can give us the desired result of associating with the Lord by discharging the transcendental loving service of the Lord in the above manner. Even the very sound of the holy name of Lord Krishna or Rama can be at once surcharged, can at once surcharge the atmosphere spiritually. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, right? The very sound of the Lord Sri Krishna and Rama can surcharge the atmosphere, right? And it says very clearly the devotional process is going to get the desired, desired result of transcendental loving service. Sumit? Vichshana yacharano pasadhanat Sangam Vidyasyo Bhayantar Taratmanaha Vidahanti hi Brahm Gati Gatkalam Satsame Subhadrasharvase Namo Namaha Let me offer my respectful obeisances again and again on to all auspicious Lord Shri Krishna, the highly intellectual, simply by surrendering on to his lotus feet, are relieved by relief of all attachments to present and future existence and without difficulty progress towards spiritual existence. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. Ravi? Ravi? Yes. Tapasvino dana para yash yash swani vano manaswano mantra vida sumangalaha shemam na vidanti vina yad yad parana tasme subhadra shravese namo namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisance unto, unto the all auspicious Lord Shri Krishna again and again, because the great learned sages, the great performers of charity, the great workers of distinctions, the great philosophers and the majestics, the great chanters of the Vedic rhymes, and the great followers of the Vedic principles cannot achieve any fruitful results without dedication of such great qualities to service of the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, right? So tapashvino, yashushvino, dantara, right? All these, but the most important is dedication of uh, great qualities to the service of the Lord. Is what is the most important thing. Yeah? And uh, <clears throat> okay, I think we'll pause here. You only have two minutes. Uh, feel like we continuously read, but I think we'll <laughs> pause uh, and uh, let's uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's hear the kirtan for two minutes. I, unless uh, anyone wants to say anything very quickly, Rasikshan Prabhuji. Or, or it's Thursday, so you know we'll see you on uh, Monday, long weekend for you. So we'll see you again on Monday. Okay, so enjoy your weekend. Let's hear the kirtan. And Thanks, Kajendra. And we'll revise this on Monday. <laughs> okay, thanks. Let's continue to hear the yesterday's kitchen. <laughs>
नंदन सुख धन बनवारी Yeah. 